Hello! Today we're going to do our Bible lesson 28.3. So our Bible lesson 28.3, Jesus and the Children. Before we get started though, I want to remind you about the Bible verse that we're learning. It's Isaiah 55, 6. You say it. Yep, Isaiah 55, 6. Let's do it together. Here we go. One, two, three. Seek the Lord that he may be found. Isaiah 55, 6. Seek the Lord that he may be found. Isaiah 55, 6. We've been reading about Jesus and how much he loves the children. We read the story from here. And we also read the story from here, from the children's Bible. Today, I have a make-believe story to read to you. And it kind of reminds us of how Jesus' followers wanted to help Jesus, but they did not understand how much God loves and values children. They tried to keep the children away from Jesus, but Jesus wanted to spend time with the children. So this make-believe story is about a little girl named Sasha. Sasha jumped up and down as she held her father's hand and waited for Jake to appear. Jake, the lead singer in a very popular singing group, was making one stop in their city, and everyone in the crowd wanted to see him. Sasha hoped that Jake would sign a copy of his newest CD that she had bought with her very own money. She clutched the CD tightly. As the doors opened, the crowd cheered. Sasha's dad lifted her up on his shoulders so that she could see better. Wow, thought Sasha, this is going to be the best day of my life. <laughs> then an announcer said that Jake had to hurry off to the recording studio and he would not be able to meet any of his, of any of his fans or sign any CDs that day. Immediately, the crowd became quiet. Poor Sasha was so sad that tears came down from her eyes. She started to cry. Jake looked over and he saw Sasha on her dad's shoulders, high above the rest of the crowd. Suddenly, Jake surprised everyone. He pointed to Sasha and he said, let her come to me. Jake's manager said, we don't have time. But Jake said he was not leaving until he met that little girl. Sasha and her dad made their way toward Jake. Sasha started, stopped crying immediately as Jake lifted her onto the step where he was standing. Sasha smiled as Jake took the CD and signed it for her. I'm glad I got to meet you, Jake said. Your smile is so much better than tears. Now, in this little story, why does Sasha want to see Jake? Mm -hmm. He was the lead singer of a very popular band that she just loved. She had his CD and she loved hearing him sing. Why did Sasha cry? Yeah, she was waiting to see Jake and he didn't have time. His manager said he didn't have time to meet anyone or sign any CDs. Why did Sasha stop crying? <laughs> yes, because she got to meet Jake and he signed her CD for her. Why do you think Jake wanted to spend time with Sasha? That one could have lots of answers, but... One of them could be that he saw her crying and she was so sad and he really likes kids. He loves children and he was a kind person and he didn't want to see her cry. He wanted to make her happy. And so he took the time to sign her CD. Now, um, in our story today, um, we are going to be, I mean, in our in our worksheet today, sorry about that, in our worksheet today, we're going to be talking about some people that we spend a lot of time with. Now, in our story, 
we were talking about um, the manager and how he was keeping the kid, the little girl, away from Jake. That was kind of like our Bible story, how Jesus' friends were trying to keep the children away from Jesus. They didn't know how much he loves children and how much he wanted to spend time with them. Well, we have a little paper here today, and we've got another secret code. We're going to figure out this code, and there's a little message for us. Now, one of the things that Jesus loves to do is to spend time with us. Now, if you spend time with someone, a lot of time with someone, you might pick up some things that are kind of like them. Some of their mannerisms or some of the things that they say. And by spending time with them, you get to know them better. You get to know what they're like and you get to know their hearts. And today, we're going to be talking about some people that we get to spend time with. A lot of time with and it really makes us love them and hopefully we'll also spend some time with Jesus and get to know him and love him very much the way that he loves us well on our paper today the first direction is always the same we pick up our pencil or our pencil our marker and write our name so I wrote mrs. Contreras now it says use the code to write each letter well what shape is that right there? Yeah, that's a diamond or a rhombus. And so we're going to look up here. Are those the same shape? No. Are these the same shape? How about these? Oh, here it is right there. There's the same shape. And if we look below, we see the letter I. So right here, we're going to put I. There you go. Next. There's a green what? Rectangle. So we're going to find the green rectangle up here, and then we're going to match that letter and put it here. So let's see. There's the green rectangle, and the green rectangle has the letter L right underneath it. So for the letter, for the green rectangle, we're going to write the letter L. Next, there's a red circle or a red sphere and we're going to go up here and find the red circle or sphere oh there it is and right underneath it has the letter o so we're going to write the letter o now i'm going to let you do the rest of this paper by yourself i want you to try to do it by yourself and next time we meet together i'll show you all the answers and we can talk about um, what the secret message says but down here at the bottom, there's a special part that says, use your fingerprint to draw each member of your family. <laughs> That's kind of a fun thing to do. I don't know if you have this at your house, but if you do, you can use an ink pad. I have an ink pad here today. You can use paint or you can color your fingertip with a marker and make a print for each person. So I'm going to stick my finger in the pad and then I'm going to put a mark right there that's for me and I'm gonna make one for my daughter Mallory and one for my daughter Paige and one for Ethan and you can make and I have other people in my family too but I'm gonna stop right there today and you can make a mark for each person in your family now after you make your little fingerprint there, you can turn it into a person. You can make it look like you're like one of the people in your family. So the first one, maybe you have a boy in your family. So I'm going to add some legs and some shoes and some arms and some fingers and hands. And then I'm going to put some eyes, two eyes and a nose and a happy smile right on there. And this one's going to be a boy, so I'm going to put some brown hair. Ethan has spiky hair in my, at my house, so I'm going to do that. Next, I have another one here, and I'm going to add some eyes and a nose and a happy smile. And then some arms and legs. Look how funny. That's so silly. That's kind of fun. And then I can, if I want to, make long hair. Long hair, short hair, I can make curly hair, 
on those 